everybody got another build here for you this is the carbon fiber neck guitar and I think I'm gonna call this one a fail and the reason why is well first let me just describe the, the guitar to you it's a uh, 17 millimeter outside diameter carbon fiber tube. Get the clip off of here. And it's actually a tube, and you can. Well, it's got a plug in the other end, so you can't see the light at the other end. But yeah, it's just a tube, and it's plenty stiff and everything. But what's going on is that the. right at the center and the thing is like being really problematic when it comes to getting the thing to the fritz level when it's under tension I don't, and what happens is is that when you put it under tension apparently the fretboard is flexing so that the different spots become high and it's also probably not flexing in a repeatable manner so I don't even think a flex machine would do this. Let me turn this off. Yeah, I don't think even a plec machine would be able to be able to get this thing okay. I mean, I'm down to like trying to do it one string at a time, and it's like every time I I put it back under tension, a different fret goes high on me. So I'm going to call this a fail. I think that if you had, you know, like the the V neck, it's got the aluminum at both or near both edges. And so it provides more support to keep the thing from flexing this way. Or either either both ends down or both ends up, you know, kind of bowing this way or bowing this way, or just kind of flexing this way and that way. Because the humidity and temperature in this place has been, weather's been very up and down. And so this whole thing is just kind of going like this over the days. And I've been at this for four or five days now. And, and conventional leveling and stuff, it, it's, it's just not working in general. It's just, the, the neck is stiff enough, but apparently the, the fingerboard is not. So a stiffer material for the fingerboard might work. You know, something in like a carbon fiber or an aluminum or a steel or something. But just the wood, the hardwood alone doesn't seem to cut it. Not without more support back here. So, so yeah, this is it. This is it's a fail. Um, otherwise, it's got the single swing arm on it. Uh, it's got the Steinberger, and the body is actually made out of out of a single piece of bobinga, and it seems to have pretty good. Sustain quality, surprising and sustain. Babinga is supposed to be one of the, the stiffest woods on the planet, and the carbon fiber obviously is quite stiff. So, yeah, the guitar seems to have a noticeable amount of sustain. Or, or at least, let's put it this way I noticed that it seems to sustain a lot, which I don't necessarily notice with all builds. So, there might be something to this. But as far as the carbon fiber goes, at least a single, just, you know, support point down the center of the fingerboard, it's not enough. It doesn't look like it's enough. I'm, I'm going to, basically, I think I'm going to redo this thing with an aluminum neck would be the, the best option at this point. This fretboard was on that thing over there. That's the X10 and the and guitar number five, I guess it was, or whatever. Guitar number four, the one that had the wood neck with no truss rod. So, yeah, it came off of that, so I guess it could come off of this, and, and I'll put it on some aluminum or something like that. But, but, yeah, so carbon fiber tube didn't seem to work out. Two tubes would probably work, because that would give you the same kind of two lines of support along the back of the fretboard similar to the the angle stock aluminum gives you or obviously you know regular neck wood 
gives you support all across the fretboard. And that's what seems to be the issue here is is that it's it's yeah that seems to be the issue so so yeah um you know it's the idea was you kind of like use this instead of the titanium frets and then this is instead of your titanium neck on a gitler but it's not close enough this is too flexible it's not titanium so but anyway yeah until the next build that's going to do it for this one everybody have a good one